Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another beautiful video by your boy Hupseya. I'm here to teach you how to deal with the most disgusting, obnoxious cheese that Zerg currently has and is terrorizing the ladder with. This is the how to defend against proxy hatch all in build. So we're going to start the game off with the very standard Protoss stuff. I'm looking to go across the map, block my opponent's hatchery. I do miss the drone here in the middle, but you should never see that drone unless the Zerg is a potato. What we're going to do here is we're going to get to the opponent's natural base, and we're going to be paying attention because a drone should be here. And if a drone is not here, you should be suspicious that it's a pool first opener. So everything's going to be normal. I'm going to build my gas geyser. I'm going to build my 17th worker. And then my 19th worker is going to rally down to the natural. We come into the main base. This is important. This is a 1414, right? This is not a 12 pool, okay? If you're versus a 12 pool, you need to make a zealot right away and make your cyber right away and make your second gateway right away. This is not a 12 pool. This is a 14 14 or a 12 12, right? The spawning pool is not super early. This is an important detail about this because you're going to notice here, I'm going to go bake my Nexus because I don't give a shit about that. So I'm going to make my Nexus and then I'm going to make my cybernetics core and then I'm going to make a zealot, okay? And we're not even going to chrono boost it. And then this probe, we know. That there is no zerglings on the way because this spawning pool finished and I was watching. These larvae did not get used. I am 99.9% .9 certain at this point in time that this is a proxy hatch build, okay? This is a dead giveaway that they're proxy hatching you is the larva not getting used immediately, right? I don't need to scout the roach warren. I don't need to do anything else. I send this probe that built my cyber and my gateway out to search for the proxy hatch. There it is right there. I come down to the natural. I build my second gateway and a second pylon down here. This is important. You want this second pylon down here so that it's harder for your opponent to depower all of your gateways. So at this point, you need to understand that the Zerg player is all in okay they are all in you don't have to focus super hard on making workers right now all you need to do is focus on survive survive motherfucker so our warp gate is gonna finish we're gonna make an adept and chrono boost it and we're gonna make our first shield battery okay there's our first shield battery and we're going to do the little dance with the Zerglings and the Zealot. We really don't want to let these Zerglings into our base because that would be very bad. I end up letting my opponent get in the base, which is very bad, but it's okay. We build the Stalker and we Chrono Boost this as well. This is the second, third, fourth step, right? This is all very important. If you have problems with this, be sure to write this stuff down, okay? You're going to Chrono the Adept and the Stalker, all right? Because those Roaches... They're on the way already, and we want this stalker as quickly as possible. I'm going to say, at this point, it would probably be a good idea to start your warp gate, okay? I don't do that because I'm potatoing out, and I'm chasing the zerglings that I let inside of my base. If these zerglings weren't distracting me, I would have paid a little bit better attention, and I would have had my warp gate started right now. So there we see, there's the roaches, okay? My first stalker pops out. My shield battery has full energy. My second shield battery is on the way. And we're starting gateway units number four and five as quickly as we can remember to do so. This idle time on this gateway, a lot of the times this is going to kill you. If you idle your gateways while you're getting all end like this, you will die. You cannot get a stargate in time to defend against this. You need to build units out of the gateways consistently. So as you can see here, I'm going to start a third shield battery. It would have been a good idea to start a third pylon back here to continue powering these extra buildings. But I felt pretty safe at this point. I'm going to slow it down so we can watch the micro. Basically, the, uh, the whole idea here is don't move too far out of your wall off, okay? If you move too far out of your wall off, you know what's going to happen. These Zerglings are going to shoot in here. They're going to surround your units, and you're going to be too far away from your shield battery. And all you need to do is you want to come out here, 
and any time that the Zerg player tries to land a Ravager Bile, you're going to try and shoot him, okay? He's going to land a Ravager Bile. I shoot him one time. He's going to try and land a Ravager Bile. I'm going to shoot him. Uh, I'd split my Stalker over to this side here to kill the Overlord to get rid of the high ground vision. If they have this, you can try and deny it. If they have the Pervert Pillar where you can't kill the Overlord without high ground vision, there's nothing you can do about it. But because I was able to deny the high ground vision, that worked in my favor pretty well here. At this point, you're going to see I start to float a lot of money. You can start building probes right now. It would be very beneficial to start building probes right now, okay? So after you've got your five gateway units and you've got gateway units number six and seven on the way, now's the time. Start making probes again because you need to. You need to start making probes because a lot of the times if the Zerg players want, they can just sit out here. They don't have to commit with these units. They can just sit here and wait forever because th this defense is with only gateway units. I have no counterattack potential. I'm not close to a Stargate because I've been on one gas geyser this whole time. So it's very important. You got to get those probes started. So he pushes in here. I have the super battery. I dodge the bile. This is like the one important micro thing you need to do because three Ravager biles, one shots, Adepts, Zealots, and Stalkers. So if you don't dodge that triple Ravager bile shot, you will lose very important oh we got a turret we got a turret stalker he's trapped so we have our super battery we have our three other batteries i'm floating shitloads of minerals right now because i'm panicking okay i'm like please god let this defense work and you know what i'm comfortable with it now it feels good we know that this the nexus first defends against proxy hatch and we just win the game right very nice if you have any specific questions please Go ahead, put them down in the comments section. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, if this was informative, if it was helpful, if you learned anything, if this helped you kill ladder zergs, if this helped you get MMR, please leave a like on the video. Please leave a comment down below. Appreciate you.